one. Removal and tear down. Today we're in the shop. We're gonna try to pull this motor today. Let's pull that motor right out. Pull that motor right out. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna get started. We're gonna remove the radiator, the fans, any of the accessories, power steering pump, AC condenser. Get all the stuff out of the way so we can pull this motor out of this Jeep. Getting all the wiring labeled was a big thing for me. Uh, I knew that the Jeep was gonna be sitting for a while while I got the motor figured out, so I labeled everything. If you don't need to label anything because you got a great memory, good for you, that's awesome. I needed to because otherwise I'd be thinking, hey, where did this go, where does that go? Another nice thing that I realized when I was putting everything back together is looking for the green tape, I knew if I connected something back or not, so that really helped me out. Removing the flywheel from the torque converter on the transmission, getting the, uh, I think it's like an E12 bolt to get the transmission top two bolts out of the way. A lot of people struggle with that. Now we're ripping the motor out of the Jeep with the crane here. It took a little bit of finagling to make sure that there was nothing still connected. I think there was one bolt that was still connected while I was trying to take it out. But we finally got the motor out, so that's good. It is super dirty, it's old, it's got like 250,000 miles on it. Here the water pump uh, gasket looked like it was basically rotted out. I wonder if it was losing coolant. That gasket looks pretty shot. After getting the injectors and the fuel rail pulled out, we got the exhaust manifold, the intake manifold off. Finally getting to the head, we're gonna check out the head gasket. At this point I was super curious if it was leaking or had some issues there. All in all, the motor didn't look like it was having that many issues. It was just overheating. And later we find out some other reasonings for that and you'll see that in the next episodes or two. Now we're getting the oil pan off, checking to see how everything's looking in there. Start taking off this girdle and the main caps. And now we're getting the the balancer off, looking at under the timing cover, checking the timing chain, the, the main caps here. There was some significant wear, but nothing that was blatantly causing an issue. Getting all the caps off now so we can get the crankshaft out. Just removing the rest of everything, the freeze plugs out of there so the machine shop can do a thorough cleaning. And we're just going to do a couple rounds here, some uh, degreaser and brake clean. Get some of that gunk off of there so the machine shop can work with it a little bit better. The machine shop's going to dunk it and clean it up really good. We're going to send this block off to the machine shop so that they can do uh, the head decking and make sure the deck is uh, perfectly level. They're going to do a deep clean and then they're going to put in some cam bearings for me. So we're actually going to end up getting a separate motor from a friend for a hundred bucks because this one's going to take a while at the machine shop and we don't want the Jeep to be down all summer. All right guys, welcome back to the garage. We are working on the Jeep again today. We managed to find a 4.0, about 160,000 miles and we're going to throw this in the Jeep for the summer this year while we rebuild the motor that's at the machine shop currently. We don't have a timeline. We know machine shops can sometimes take a while. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slap this engine on the engine stand, clean it up, new gaskets, make sure things look and seem right, and then get it back into the Jeep so that we can go wheeling this summer. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, got a time lapse coming up. We're gonna start getting this engine on the stand and start getting it broken down and start cleaning it up Check things out and see how it goes Stay tuned for episode 2 coming out next week where we tear down this replacement motor Put new gaskets in it and get it ready to put back in the Jeep. Talk to you guys next time <laughs>